My head says go with grey, but my heart says hot pink all the way. Hello and welcome to the Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. If you've been following along with part one of the Traveller's Notebook, you'll see that I threw this together with lots of scraps and trim, fabric, paper, and offcuts and things that were around the desk. I also had batik fabric and I have ironed everything on together. I've sewn it round. So if you'd like to see how this is made, you need to have a look in the playlist for Autumn and Fall Crafts and you'll find part one of the Traveller's Notebook in there. I'll leave the link below. So I'm having a little look and sort of thinking about how best to decorate this, where to put my um, eyelets and things like that. I was looking at this grey trim here and that's okay. It's, it's a nice little crocheted lace. I do like my crocheted lace, but I'm just thinking that that this pink just wants to jump in here and I'm going to go with it because that's what my creative side wants. I want I want this to be fun. I want this to be um, a little bit of excitement, a little bit of hope and joy and jolly jollyment, <laughs> if that's a word. A little bit of jollyment. Yes, that's what we need. It's November. Oh my goodness. How has that happened? I am very, very pleased to be working towards something really fun and all my creative endeavours I'm so enjoying it so I'm going to just keep bringing you the videos and the podcasts and just learning as I go and just dealing with things in my own time and taking you along for the ride the journey so I'm going to be using my uh, We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile, and I shall be punching holes in this cover here so that I can get my eyelets put it put in and that will be for elastic. Well I was having a look at my elastic and I've got this grey elastic and I can't seem to find anything else. I don't think I have any. I think I've used it all up and what I was hoping for is finding elastic like this circular um, very strong thick elastic so I haven't I haven't got any but I have got this and I think this might be all right but it's a little bit too stretchy so I'm worrying that my pages won't go in in which case what I might do is I'll go and get some more elastic if I can from uh, the town tomorrow haberdashery but but for that what I'm going to do I'm just going to take this project up until that point and then we can worry about that tomorrow that's tomorrow's problem today it's all about whether I want corners on here and how we're going to tackle some of the closure aspects to a, a TN a traveler's notebook do we want rather spangly lovely copper mm, it's a bit bright isn't it a little bit bright okay we're going to be looking at corners to add to the journal cover and we've either got large ones or small ones and these ones are an antique brass finish they're wider and they're plain and they've just got a nice scalloped edge to them and these ones are smaller and they have more decorative swirls and patterns on them so both are available to buy in bags so I think you get them about 25 or 50 depending on the size but I think that that's going to be quite nice it's quite wide um, probably a little bit over the top for this project but quite fun nevertheless and I think when I put my lace on there uh, which will sit like that these smaller ones had I gone with that idea they would match a little bit with the lace but they're also um, competing with the lace with that patterning I think so maybe that is a smoother finish 
and, I, and they show up better. So for those reasons I'm going to go with that. So we'll start at the back and get the technique right on how to put them down because these are bigger ones for something very, very thin. The other thing I need to do is put some ink around the edge because I can see that I've got some white showing. So this, this part of the project is just to sort out the detail. So we just would take a sponge or a brush and just take off the bright white paper and knock that back to a darker brown. I don't want to rub the cotton fabric and fray anything up too much. I just want to get that white, can you see? And now it's gone. So same again, and I'm just using a Distress ink, which is walnut stain. This is a dark stain from the Distressed Ink range. Just go round and remove the white. And then when we're happy with that, we find the back. So this is the back and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac and I will be putting a, a triangle bit of glue along there and on the other side. Just a little bit of glue on the edge. Corner protectors and squash that down into place. And then with the nylon pliers, which, which has got the nylon cover, holding it in place, we've so we've pushed it on, we now squash it on And they're going on quite nicely. And hopefully the glue will set. And it should look like that. Yes, that's so that's very nice. So I'm going to do the same on this side and we're putting glue in a triangle on the edge all the way around and then we squash on our corner hold it in position and then we can squash the other side down and the purpose of these is that it's not going to scratch the metal so it's a soft-ish plastic nylon. And that just squashes them in place. They're not going anywhere. They're really good. That is looking like that on the back. And then on the front, we just repeat. Sometimes this pushes the metal out and disjoints it, sort of pushes it away. If you get that, you want to just use your maybe that part and just tap it on but it doesn't really need it. it seems to be going on quite nicely on this and that's usually because you've got the size just perfectly right for the angle it doesn't always work out that way but sometimes the smaller ones don't sit in as nice so they just want to be tapped into position and, and that's fine they will they'll tap into position so I've put a little bit of extra glue on that one it came came uh, out a bit thicker but it doesn't matter because we just squash that on put your finger on it to keep it in place and then squash that down and that is how 
how to put some corner protectors on a project and just to start making it a little bit more up together. Who would have thought that this was just some scrap papers? Okay, so measuring that out, I'm just taking these fabric scissors. We're going to snip that pit bit away. Hopefully now that should sit there. Okay, and then I just need to cover that now with this. We just lay this down. So the eyelets that I want to use are in antique copper and they are 1.8 of an inch. Um, so they're three millimeters. So if you're looking for the smaller size on your copper dial, you want three millimetres, which is 1.8 of an inch. And in here, oh, it's one eighth. So, it's, so these are the one eighth, so you want the smaller size and that will be, that fits in there perfectly. So this is what we will be having. If you get any glue on your project, it is quite good to invest in a glue eraser. It's very peculiar product, but it does just take away any of that silicon glue. Okay, so with a traveller's notebook you want to make sure that your holes are up quite high on the project. You don't want to come down here because that means that your space for your papers is going to reduce. So you want to get the largest amount of paper that you can just coming in a little bit. Just use something straight. So I've marked my little dots and I'm just going to punch the holes with this. And I'm just going to try and see if I <laughs> wish I'd used white. Actually, that would be better. So because I can't see, I'm just going to go over and do a white dot. Because the fabric's so dark, the fabric's so dark, it's just easier, I think, to be able to see that white dot. Yes, I can. And then I can line that up. That's it. And then just cut those out. Okay, so that they're going to look like that. And then the eyelets will just tuck in there. push through on the other side. Okay, and then we'll do the same up the top here. And the next thing to do is just to squash them down, clamp them on. So that's how they're going to look. And for that, I've just got to make sure that I've got the right setting here. But you get a little instruction here and it tells you. So I'm doing doing an embellishment so I'm doing this one here which so it's a C3 okay so you make sure you get the right setting it gives you instructions as to what you need this one says C and 3 so ABC you just pull them out and you swing them around until you get the one you need and it is this one that I need which means that I can turn this around and the bit here, this bit here, is the bit that goes in the top. So that's how that goes. And then it squashes down. And then I'm just squashing the last one down. And that's the eyelets in place. Okay. So I've squashed the bond. I've had to change the setting in the end. Yeah, what I really wanted was whatever that is. Number four. Number four seemed to squash them in really nice and flat. So they're now flat and they're smooth with nothing sticking out, poking or being sharp. 
So sometimes you just have to play around until you get what you want. OK, so what we've achieved this evening is to put the corners on, to put the holes in place for the elastic. It could be this, so it could be the grey, but I don't think this is going to be strong enough. I might want to just see what else I can get hold of in the town tomorrow because this just looks like standard elastic. It's, uh, it's all right. It's a it's a okay option if that's all we've got. But I'm just sort of imagining it like that. I, it's just going to be a bit loose. Not quite what I want at all, but it would look it would look okay. But I really, you know, it's not all about looks. It needs to be functional. So for that, I think I'm going to need to have a stronger thicker elastic something with a a lot more of a firm stretch not necessarily that color but that's that style so it goes through and it would look like that i just think that that's a nicer look and it's practical because it's stronger elastic and then i want to show you how i'm going to do a closure and i'm thinking i'm going to need another another one in there. So that was just a quick video to show how to put the corners on and also how to punch the eyelets and tomorrow we'll have a look at putting elastic on, maybe another closure and how to put our papers in as well. So thanks very much for watching and uh, do please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll have a look at, uh, at the next part tomorrow. Okay guys thank you very much and above everything else just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye-bye now.